Guys, I want to welcome you back to the channel. I'm your host, Mike. This is the Digital Review, and I think I've found the perfect under $50 earbud for you. This is the Soundpeats True 2, all right? I'm gonna tell you all about these, and I'm gonna tell you why you should get them, who they're for, how they're used best, and what I think about them. And I'm gonna tell you all that in a few seconds, and I'll be right back. All right, so guys, welcome back to the channel. It has definitely been a while. Like I said here, we're gonna talk about the star of the show. This is the Soundpeats True 2 wireless earbuds. And, um, you know, right off the bat, I wanna tell you, if you just wanna know what I think about them, these are two thumbs up, go get them. They're about 30 bucks. If you get them off Amazon, $38.99 on the Soundpeats website. Great piece of technology, great earbuds for the price that you pay. They're probably the best under $50 um, set of earbuds that I've ever used before in my life. Uh, all right, so let me tell you what they say about these on the website. These are classified as sports earbuds. Exclusive silicone ear fins powered by Freebit provide you comfortable and secure fit. These are the ear fins, okay? I think I agree with that. Reinforced design and IPX7 rated protect the earbuds from sweat and water and allows you to enjoy your positive and active lifestyle. So these are being marketed as a sports earbud. Who are these for? Someone that is active, positive, and in sports. There you go. Now, as far as how far can you get from the phone with these, like distance, um, I'm actually gonna post a video here. Um, I was able to get 94 feet from these. Uh, full basketball court and then some 94 feet uh, was what I was able to get before you, know, you lost connection where I could still hear the music. Um, so yeah, that's that. I mean, how far do you need to get from your phone? 94 feet is pretty good, and uh, as long as they're not, you know, having interference with other Wi-Fi or other other elliptical or exercise equipment, it's cool with me. Um, getting on to the price, I picked these bad boys up on Amazon for 25.99. I got a four five dollar off coupon. I believe they're selling right now for 29.99. And if you go to the Sound Pete's website, they're 38.99. And I checked. I didn't see a difference in. Uh, system so I went ahead and got the ones off Amazon you go wherever you want if you decide to purchase these off Amazon I will put a link below it does help the channel if you use that link I'd appreciate it uh, but yeah for 30 bucks remember this is a budget earbud that means under $50 this is probably the best earbud that I've ever used better than any other sound piece that I've ever used uh, when it comes for music and ear sound at the gym this is for someone that either doesn't want to spend a lot of money on earbuds for a kid or for you know a gym something like that someone that works out they're active they shoot baskets they play a sport um they lift they go to the gym they like music they like full bass that's who this is for or this is for someone that you know like i said you don't want to spend a lot of money on a pair of earbuds but you want to have a pair of earbuds that have a little bit more sound to them you listen to rock you live you listen to uh rap you listen to rb you listen to alternative you want you want that full sound um that's who these are for if you are an audiophile these are not for you uh because if we go into the sound now um these sound great with bass but it's almost like they need to just turn the mids up just a little bit the voice just a little bit so you can hear the voice a little bit more prominently than the bass these are not going to sound like bows but they're not going to sound like beats either they're in between they do sound better than the AirPods, I will give you that. Um, even with me using the ear skins, you get more bass out of these than you do with the ear skins. So um, if you are looking for more bass in your music, you listen to rap, you listen to uh, rock, you listen to RB, alternative, you know, you want more bass, this is for you. If you listen to like jazz or classical um, then, or, or podcasting, then you could go with these, but you probably could go with something else that's a little bit more mid higher than these trebles are fine on these bass is great on these the mid needs to be turned up a little bit if you have an eq with whatever uh, music software you use it'll be perfect uh sound Peach does not have an eq at least one that i know about that works with these so you know you gotta get you gotta use it the way they're set Moving on to stability, when you put these in your ear, I'm gonna cover stability and ear pressure in these. One thing I like about them is that I've used these for two, two, three hours at a time. You do not get that ear pressure to where it's vibrating in your ear like some of the other noise cancelings get. You don't get that, I like that. Um, another thing, as far as the stability goes, you know, they're not coming out. Once you get them in, you pick the tips that you want. My tips, 
They go a little bit in my into my uh, ear canal, but some people like the fatter tips where they sit right on the top. And then this wing goes right into this portion of your ear. They're not coming out. You may have to push them in a little bit when you're doing something, if you're like doing burpees or you're jumping and stuff like that. But if you're just at the gym training or uh, shooting or, or stuff like that, these are not coming out, which I like about that. Moving into the controls, very simple. I'm gonna put these in so that I can actually do this off bat. But let's just say I wanted to turn the volume up. I just press on the right side, one, two, volume goes up. I want to turn it down, one, two, volume goes down. If I want to pause the music, one time. If I want to unpause it, one time. Uh, and you are pressing, it is an actual button. If I want to change the track, one, two, and actually hold it in um, for 1.5 seconds, and the next track will go. If I want to go back to that track, one, two, hold that one in for 1.5 seconds and that will reverse track. If I want to switch calls, I hold them for two seconds and I can switch back and forth. Let's say I'm on two phone calls, I want to switch back and forth, hold it for two seconds, switch calls. Lastly, if I want to use my voice assistant, hold it for three seconds and then that person's name, who I don't want to say now, will pop up. And uh, that's pretty much it. Very simple, um, user-friendly control. So you'll, you'll get to use those with no problem. Um, even when you're, um, pressing a button you know some people get used to doing it like that i kind of rest my finger here and press like that but however you want to do it doesn't matter you'll get used to that but i like these because they don't dig in your ear when you press the button it is a firm press but they don't dig in your ear so i have used some that they dig in your ear i absolutely hate that moving on to what's included in the box when you open the box you're gonna get two additional tips like these plus this one. So you're gonna have six total and you're gonna get three different sizes of this wing tip, small, medium, and large. Um, this is the largest one I believe because I have small ears, uh, but that's it. And then you also get your cable. You see here, the box is USB type C. You get your instructions and you get your earbuds. Very simple packaging. The box is about that big. I'm sorry I don't have it for you, but it's, I've had these for about a month now. I tested them thoroughly. So um, not a lot of packaging comes into the box though. So not a lot of fluff. You just get what you get. So when it comes to battery life, these are uh, rated at four hours. I get right around three and a half hours of mine because I, I do have the volume up a little bit louder. I think these are rated at four hours if you're under 70% max volume. Um, I'm getting right around three and a half hours. So I'm cool with that. When it comes to recharging, it takes two hours to recharge them and you get four additional charges out of the battery. So total out of the case. So a total of 20 hours usage. And these are my backups. So, you know, when I'm done with them, I put them back in the case. I put them in the uh, bag for my gym and I leave, I'm done with them. Um, who this is not for, this is not for someone that likes to be on the phone all day. You can switch them out and use them individually. You can use one here, then you can hotbox when he dies, put the next one in here. But the call quality for these is horrible. You sound like you're in a tunnel, you sound like you're far away. So, and you're, the person on the other end will hear every little thing that you say when it comes to call quality. So um, if you're doing something in the background, you're washing dishes, you got, you're driving, they're gonna hear every little thing that's going on. It's gonna sound like you're you know, building a house is what I'd say to my mom when I'm on the phone with her. So. For call quality, this is not for you. You're not gonna be um, making crystal clear calls in these. This is this is strictly for working out at the gym, hearing great music. That's what this should be used for. If you want something for call quality, I'd probably go with an AirPod, something like that. These are rated IPX7. So I think that's one meter for 30 minutes underwater. You drop them in a can of soda or something like that. You can pull them right out, wash them off, they're fine. They're sweat proof, you can take them in a sauna, et cetera. Uh, so that's good. When you take them out of the box, out of the case here, first thing you want to do, because it is a, a slave unit, so I believe the right one is the control and the left one is the slave, right? Um, put your phone in pairing, take them out of the box, and they will automatically go into pairing mode and they will start searching for whatever device you're trying to connect them to. You can only connect these to one device, so you can't, you know, don't try to Think you're going to connect them to an ipad and an iphone doesn't work that way you can only connect them to one device but they're really easy to pair they're not like some of the sound beats in the past as soon as you take them out of the pouch 
they go and you turn them on, it's going to say power on connecting and boom, you're connected. It's going to do that every time. There you go. Um, very simple. These are six millimeter driver. So kind of small driver, but they produce a tremendous sound for what you pay for them. Uh, again, 30 bucks under $50 earbud. This is the best earbud that I've ever used. It is uh, leading the way, in my opinion, when it comes to having a budget earbud. Uh, they're IPX rating seven. So again, you, you, I wouldn't swim in them, but you can go one meter underwater for 30 minutes. You can drop them in the toilet, drop them in the sink, accidentally pick them out, dry them off. They'll be fine, ready to go. Who are they for? The person who likes music, bass, more bass heavy than mids. The mids, you know, you kind of lack a little bit on the mids. You need to turn that up a little bit, but if you like bass and music, you listen to rap, rock, alternative, R&B, something like that. These are going to hit nice for you. Um, they're going to hit better than AirPods will, even with the ear skins on. So keep that in mind. They don't protrude too far into your ear canal. So if you're worried about bass reflecting off your ear canal, you don't have to worry about that. They are durable. It is a plastic, um, I almost said plastic silicone, but it is a durable plastic. So, you know, I wouldn't slam them down. Don't step on them. But if you drop them, you don't have to worry about them cracking and things like that. They're well constructed. They're, they feel heavy for what, what you, you know, would expect the earbuds to feel like. And again, $29.99 Amazon. So if that is for you, if you're someone that either doesn't want to spend 180 bucks on a pair of AirPods, so you don't want to buy your kid that, or you feel like you want to, you know, be in the in-ear crowd, because this is becoming more of a common thing where, you know, you don't have this big bone sticking out of your ear. Let me just show you the difference. You know, this is my only beef with AirPods. You got a big bone sticking out of your ear. I don't really like that. I like the stem, but I don't like the bone thing. And this is way more discreet. Keep in mind, people will wall up on you and talk to you and will not see this in your ear. So, you know, you might want to make get this in white or, you know, be on the lookout for someone coming to you so they can see, hey, I got earbuds in. I'm not being an asshole. Uh, but other than that, man, that's it. These are for you. So if you like what you heard, hit the like button, subscribe. If you have questions about these, if I missed something, hit me up in the comment section. I do answer all my questions. And remember, use that link if you're going to buy these from Amazon, $29.99. That is the current price that they're selling at. I think that's the best price. It's $9 cheaper than their website. It helps the channel out, and I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.